Well, the phrasing often goes, and this is from my uh, uh, from my experience, and it's a bizarre one. It's just you get out of bed. It's the, what took you so long? It's well, basically, uh, I needed to finish up. Finish up what? Finish up a particular dream. Uh, dreams actually, uh, from my experience, go from go from being asleep and, and they stay with you. I stay within the dream even after I've woken up. It usually takes me about an hour, even sometimes two hours. And sometimes it doesn't leave, doesn't leave at all. It just I'm in that mo mode where where you're thinking about the dream all the time, and you're going, you're mulling, and they're basically scenarios. You go over what happened, uh, and sort of thinking about it, and thinking about your responses, how you deal with things, how things uh, could or should go, uh, a number of things like that. In other words, you, in other words, you play out the scenario. Uh, even while you're awake, and what happens is, uh, ironically enough, the dream does indeed respond. Uh, there is sort of a response that is sort of nece not necessarily you, but, 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 but beyond you. Uh, and so you, in it, you exist, well, even though you're awake, you're kind of in a dream state where uh, both sides are interactive. It's a bizarre feeling. It's just, you know, it, it, it just, and it brings back certain uh, memories and sensations. And, it, it, and you ask yourself, well, why was my childhood the way it was, or why, why did I experience the thing I experienced? Oh. And you look back and go, well, okay, yeah, I was definitely a strange person. I mean, I remember, and this is sort of popped up in my head now, and just as I was sort of thinking about things. Uh, that I used to love because it's snowing outside now, so the scooting is. I I, I, I scooted in one direction to my parents' house on Saturday. I uh, did a vlog as I was uh, riding, so you're gonna get a riding vlog. But this is part of the Sunday, uh, the Saturday Sunday vlog, which is one whole day, and that's what happened. I didn't end up. I didn't end up sleeping Saturday night. I stayed up all most of Sunday. It still is Sunday today, but it feels like tomorrow. It feels like Monday. Uh, so I say, say I, well, yesterday, and that's because that's the way it feels. I took a bit of a nap. I got back around three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, went to sleep, and but by uh, eight, nine o'clock in the evening, I was up. That's not exactly a full night's worth of sleep, but it feels like that. It feels... And the thing is, that's where a dream came in. Uh, I was in a dream and sort of <clears throat> having these experiences. And <sighs> and sometimes, and this is many kids, it's, 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 the, the theme, even though the, the, the actual... The actuality of the dream, the, the, the details of the dream were different. The theme of the dream was basically the same. It's, it, it's always a sense that as you're doing something new, you have the sense of in, the sense and feeling of inadequacy. Inadequacy, that you're not good enough. So you have these doubts. And this is, this is uh, in, in most of the dreams, well, I would say all the dreams, not necessarily most, they're the things that you that 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 provide you with anxiety while you are awake, but sometimes you're able to control the anxiety, so it doesn't serve the anxiety doesn't necessarily surface, but it is there, and this is where it all comes out. It comes out in the dream, but it it, it comes out in this sort of I don't know, call it almost like a TV episode. You, you you're watching a TV show and you're like, well, not not yet. That's not over yet. Uh, I it's not resolved for me. We need to resolve this stuff out, and you continue on with the show until you get to a point where okay, this is resolved. You're comfortable with it, and then you go off and do something else. And this is what happens in, in sort of in my in my wake state that this, the, the a lot of times the feelings, the 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 uh, scenarios, the the episodes continue. 
<laughs> using the TV uh, episode issue uh, analogy. <clears throat> and just going back, this just pops back in my mind because it's snowing outside. There's a blizzard outside. That where well, most people dread blizzards. I actually love them. I love bl blizzards. And this is what brings the season in. It's not uh, necessarily Christmas music, but the blizzard brings it in. And what happens is that during a blizzard, everything stops and everything stands still. And you can go outside and nothing's moving. You can hear just complete silence. And in that, because typically even around 5 o'clock in the afternoon, it's dark out. <laughs> it's nighttime. You get that sense of four o'clock in the morning at f four o'clock in the morning sense at, at, at six o'clock in the evening, and people used to go up uh, when there was a blizzard. You'd go out around eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, to start clearing the driveway. But in many cases, it, it off, often would be warm enough that the snow would start to melt, and then as the snow melted, it created rivers. In the, in the snow itself, there were rivers of water uh, going towards the sewer, and you could sort of see uh, uh, how rivers and valleys and mountains and peaks, and everything, you could see how it forms, because you're seeing that type of uh, scenario play out uh, over, instead of being in geological in, in geologic time, in, times, in terms of thousands of years, you're seeing it play out in minutes and seconds, and so I used to bore my friend's uh, ice... Uh, they used to have an ice scraper uh, for the driveways. It was a big thing. And I'd go out and create my own mountains. <laughs> and watch the rivers form and everything. I was a bizarre kid. People said, well, what, where, where did Daniel go? <laughs> oh, he's over there. He's, what's, what, what's he doing? Oh, well, he's doing his usual bit. He's playing around. And that's what it was. My imagination was always very active, and that's kind of the way things go for me. Anyways, it's uh, just about 11 o'clock. Well, no, it's it's, uh, it's uh, almost 11.30, so it's uh, 23 hours and 26 minutes into the day, uh, into the 22nd day of 2020, and that's a Sunday. And uh, it was the uh, the saint that I follow, Saint Natarius. Uh, I'm kind of following his footsteps. Uh, that's... That's the path I'm on. And so far, I think I'm doing a half-decent job. Although, that, that's not saying much. <laughs> Ended the video, the uh, uh, the vlog for uh, Saturday and Sunday last night, just around uh, the midnight point. About I think it was eleven fifty-five, something like that. That's when I ended the uh, the vlog. It was a rather long weekend. Uh, I did spend, I did stay up all night long, so it was a, uh, but this is the, when that happens, when you get very little sleep, uh, the two days morph into one, so. Uh, I decided, because we have a ride vlog going into, uh, in Saturday, going to my parents' house, uh, we didn't get one coming back because it snowed out. On Sunday, and so there's a lot of snow on the ground, and you can't ride at that in the, in that condi in those conditions. So uh, the the scooter's still there. <laughs> this is my parents' house. I got I got a ride back. Uh, it is now 9:04, uh, nine minute nine hours and f and four minutes into the 23rd day of November. That's Monday. Uh, 2020 and I'm just at a point now I'm in between doing things uh, but I'm at a good good starting point uh, I got up a little earlier got up around uh, 8 oh. check my mail did some review work for the keyboard here the, the lower keyboard 
Let's see if I think this is right. Here we go. The lower keyboard here still has to be configured. It's no, still, it's not operational yet. I've got the, I've got the uh, system, the laptop uh, that's going to run everything. It's just a matter of sitting down and doing the configuration work. Uh, so we'll probably get, end up getting to that sometime today. Uh, although I'm not too sure, sure exactly when because, uh, as, uh, Savannah Tanner uh, pointed out from, uh, Yowie Vlogs, when you stay up all night, uh, uh, the next couple of days aren't so good. <laughs> the fatigue follows you, uh, for a couple of days. Uh, but I guess I do this on a regular basis, almost like a, almost on a weekly basis. This happens depends on the work on the research project that's going on. Uh, it does tend to stay around a little bit longer because uh, the fatigue builds up; it it, it it accumulates. So you get used to the feeling, but at the same time, if you you. Under, you, you can somewhat understand that there's a lag in you somewhat understand that there's a lag in everything that you do so uh, it does require a slight bit more effort depending on how you've organized your day or how you do, how you work with in terms uh, how you've adjusted your if you have one a, a, an efficiency uh, mode or model. The model tells you how you're going to be efficient, gives you sort of the, the, the some of the thoughts about that, some of the the me mechanisms, the methods, and of course then uh, the actual mode is how you operate within the model. So the model is ideal, and the mode is uh, approaching the ideal. I never actually achieve the ideal, but you try. And the thing is, you can you, the the perspectives you move into things with, and this has to do with dreaming and how it in, interacts with the real world. Uh, is that you could take some of the behaviors that you've sort of worked out in your dreams and gotten a better understanding of, and you can bring them into the when you're awake. And use them here to see whether or not it actually improves things or not. And if it does, then that's that's the sort of the way to go. But is it? It's it, <clears throat> this is for this. This is for those of you who remember your dreams. It's not so much about the meaning of the dream. The meaning of the dreams can be well a, a variety of different things. The typical things that you should be coming out from that that, that you could be coming out with in terms of. Uh, of dreaming is behavior and attitude you know what are your emotions about certain things how do you handle a certain event that's maybe emotional or not emotional uh, what type of person are you you know are you a good person bad person indifferent person are there issues that really bother you um, uh, do you always sort of speak your mind no matter what the consequences are or, or <clears throat> sometimes you, if, if you're the type of person who speaks your mind all the time it's not necessarily a good thing and sometimes you need to sort of learn how to hold your tongue and not, not say anything I mean uh, I certainly have a lot of opinions but there are certain points of time where I'm just not going to say anything because the actual comment and the statement is not going to do anything I mean if if you're in a, in, sort of in a, in a discussion let's say depending how you know Discussions can be mild to all the way to do fully heated discussions. Uh, Greeks certainly, Greeks and, and most of the Middle Easterners, Easterners understand that. that. That discussions can get rather heated. The problem is, unless there's a particular uh, benefit to what you're saying in terms of in this discussion here, it's not simply a matter, it's not simply not an issue of just of, of winning. It's an issue of Oh, and this is, comes in sort of somewhat, somewhat with intelligence and sort of, you know, not mental intelligence, but that. Uh, I'm talking about something like the CIA. 
you have an you have intel an intel analysis. Well, does your intel analysis? You can come up with as much analysis as you want to, but the way you present something determines its effect. So you can uh, come up with something very significant that 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 needs to be seen. But if you want that negative event to occur, then you're going to understate the urgency of the, of the information you find. You understand. You just sort of talk, oh, yes, this, you know, this, this thing going on here, and uh, we might be able to pay attention to it now and again, but, you know, it's not really not anything significant. You know, you underplay it. But you may, let's say you have something that you want to bring up, that you have your particular view, you, you know, you're a double agent, you've been sort of paid by a group or another company, country, <clears throat> and you want to steer the, 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 the agency you're working for, the media one, not the, uh, the one that's paid you uh, behind, your, behind the backs of the main agency. They want, to, they want to, you to change that agency. They want you to do something bad. Well, then what you do is you take these minor incidences and you play them up. And this is what we're seeing on TV, we're seeing in the news, with this whole issue of chronic gas. They're playing it up for all it's worth. You know, people, you know, say, well, I must be joking, he's talking about chronic gas. There is no difference between that and the disease that's going on that everyone's freaking out over. A large chunk of what's going on is fear, and what they're doing is that the, the, the politicians are fear-mongering. Uh, the media is involved in this because it, it's, it, gets, them, it gets them viewership. It, people have their apps, now they have their alert. Get a chronic gas alert. When the gas meter is high, and there's a lot of gas in there, you, need, you, know, you know not to light a lot of matches or have lit candles put Extinguish those flames because, of course, you know, if there's too much chronic acid around, it's going to explode. <laughs> a, a great fart joke. <laughs> but this is what we're talking about. The, 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 and the thing is, chronic gas can be an issue. It, it, people do have issues with chronic gas. I mean, if you have IBS or, or, or Crohn's disease, ileitis, Anything that's sort of an issue with uh, uh, the intestines, it can be serious, but it can also be mild. But look at people who are lactose intolerant, and they have some. They always take these pills, and oh, it's going to solve your problem, but it doesn't necessarily solve the problem. What it does, it just simply adjusts the system to be there, where it minimizes the issue of uh, lactose intolerance, which basically means they're going to fart a lot. I mean, this is this is medicine. <laughs> you know, oh, it's not nice to be talking about farts. Well, that's medicine. That's how th this is how the body functions, and, and the lactose intolerance is not necessarily lactose intolerance itself. It's the it's how the system, uh, in terms of the organic chemistry, because uh, all medicine is basically organic chemistry. It's how the organic chemistry actually occurs within your body, and unfortunately, a large chunk of our body is acidic. The main juices in our gastric system is hydrochloric acid. And if everyone, everyone has done a baking soda volcano in elementary school, knows that when you put a base with a uh, acid, so the base in, in the case there was is uh, baking soda. You pour in some, you pour in some vinegar, and voila, you get the baking soda volcano. Well, that's a acid-base reaction. You produce a lot of gas. So when you have milk, which is a base, or any dairy product, which is a base. It gets meets the acid. You're going to have that reaction when you understand it. Okay, but how many people are being sold lactose pills because they believe this is what they need? If there's a fear out there, there's a company or a government who's willing to exploit it, and this is what's going on now. It's the exploit exploitation of an unrealistic fear. It's a phobia. And we have this. Uh, this is basically. Um, uh, I can't remember the term for it. Well, they call it a, 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 a hypochondriac, a person who always believes they're sick. 
And a lot of times the stress from, from being a hypochondriac will cause symptoms of real diseases. So this is germ this is well even Trump Trump has this to a certain degree. He, if you watch what, what Trump was before, he was a germaphobe. Same thing with Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel was a comedian. And he was a, ger a ger germaphobe to such a degree that he shaved all not shaved his head bulb, but shaved his eyelids off, anything that had hair on it, shaved. Why? Because he didn't want the germs that can't come with hair. This is how afraid of it is. And it's not, it's, not, it's not something that's realistic. This is what a phobia is. A phobia is a, 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 an unrealistic fear. It's the emotion controlling the logic. But this is where we are today. Anyways, I've got to get back to my gaming. This first segment has run a little long, but we'll see how many segments, segments we actually do have today. Well, I fixed things up for a bit, uh, for Christmas a bit. I've got... Uh, two stuffed animals here that uh, have uh, elf hats on. They're kind of a Christmas stuffed animal. So I add that to the mix. It's about uh, my midday. Uh, this is... Uh, so when people vlog during the midday, they give you a midday point uh, uh, in the vlog. So this is what this is. Even though it's uh, 23 hours and uh, 34 minutes into the... Uh, 23rd day of November. It's uh, Monday. It's about 11.30. Uh, and, uh, well, it's actually past 11.30. Uh, it's 11.34, so... Uh, 22 hours and 34 minutes. It was a pretty good day today. I would, did the, I did a large chunk of work in the kitchen. I uh, did some, some, some significant fixing up there. Uh, and uh, worked on a uh, new uh, burger uh, uh, burger combination and different styles of cooking the burger. Uh, I've been looking into different sort of uh, older techniques that we're using and sort of mixing techniques together. Uh, a, a large chunk of, of village cooking doesn't actually have a particular recipe to it. it a lot of it goes by, f by feel, by smell, and then it, once it's cooked, by taste. And so it does take a time to get the proper variations, the, the ver different variations correct, to f figure out what flavors go with what flavors, what spices go with what spices, uh, so that you're using a combination of things that uh, one change the flavor from, from, from one uh, set of spices to another set of spices, so the same dish can be cooked in a variety of different ways and the easiest form for me in terms of <clears throat> uh, preparing it in terms of uh, what I'm going to have during the week is the burger is in, a, in a, sort of in the patty form. And these patty forms are, 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 aren't not, not necessarily something well, we would, well most uh, North Americans would associate with a burger. Oh. These patty forms have been around for a long time. Uh, one of my aunt, my aunties, uh, would make a uh, sausage called uh, jajuk. It's uh, known to the Armenians, and it's also known to in the area there was a, 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 a group of Greeks known as the Pondi. And they understood jajuk uh, as a almost like a flat hamburger, but it was spiced differently than a regular hamburger would be and we would call it we would call it uh, in in in, uh, in Lebanon and Syria it had a very similar flavor to uh, uh, to Gibby but it was done in a hamburger form rather than in a sort of a flattened meatloaf type of thing uh, so I understood that there was a variation in spices, and as I watched how these spices were done, and different people had different spices, 
uh, I said, okay, well, let's try that out. And now I have uh, three or four different variations of it. And the place where I get uh, my meat from is a very good meat place. The, the meat is very good. And so I can vary up the styles of spicing to so that I can have something different uh, almost every day of the week. Is, uh, uh, I can have something different, but also very good at the, at the same time. So this is this is the village cook, and this is what I'm focusing on in the Kauai Tea House, is that uh, focusing on the village-style cooking. It is not, people have said, well, it doesn't look pretty good. Well, it's not about looking good. It's about the technique, it's about the flavors of the food, rather than the presentation. A lot of uh, the Nouvelle Cuisine, a lot of these whole, these sort of the, the French cuisine, is focused on how something looks, is an initial presentation. Where in more of the village style, you're not looking necessarily at the presentation, but you're going looking at the flavors and how the flavors uh, combine combine together. And this is sort of a, a, a different sort of sense of of cooking. You're cooking more for flavor than for anything else. Uh, so that's what I spent most of my day doing today. Uh, tomorrow, I'm sort I'm working on. Uh, and Wednesday, I'll be working on uh, adding an addition to my laundry room type of thing, my laundry capacity. Uh, the dryer that I have works very well, I'm get, and I'm getting a second one because the dryer is too small for the load that the, the washing machine can handle. And so it often slows down the laundry work because there's just I mean, not enough space in the, in the dryer. So I'm adding a second dryer uh, will give me uh, enough space that I can do a full load and I can use the both dryers because it'll be on two different circuits. So that's what I'll be working on. Uh, the, the 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 new dryer should be coming in tomorrow. I'll have to do the assembly when I, I'll probably get everything finished by Wednesday because I have to clean up an area. Things have to sort of move around a little bit. And that's sort of what I've got planned. And uh, I did the shopping earlier, so. It's just sort of a matter of waiting for these things to come in, and as they come in, we'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably do some filming, some vlogging of this, and you'll get to sort of see uh, uh, more on how things sort of come together.